I know what everyone's been waiting for, a front-facing camera video. Um, I don't really know what to talk about today. Uh, I'm just trying to get content out there, and I know it needs to be better, believe me. I don't, I don't need to hear how much it sucks, I know. Um, but I guess, uh, I guess I want to talk about mental health a little bit. <clears throat> mental health, if, uh, that wasn't clear, I'm sorry, I'm very tired. I, uh... I had 10 sets of squats today with 30 second rests in between and every set has to be heavier. So, um, the, the target was eight to 10 reps, but I was told like at least get four to five by the very end. So like the very last set was like four reps with, uh, and this is with the Smith machine. So it's probably not actually 345 pounds, but if it was on a straight barbell, that's what I had loaded by the end, um, for four. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot on my mind throughout all that too. And that's not good. Like usually I, I know some people, they really like to sort of be irritated or like angry and it pushes their gym performance, but, uh, not me at all. I, I need to like to just be clear headed. And like the only thing I'm focusing on is like the set I have next and what I'm doing in the moment. Um, like when there's things on my mind, um, that are, like, really eating at me, I can't, uh, I don't want to be there, kind of, um, but I'm also someone, like, I won't skip training days, like, I realize that the important components about being good at this is, uh, never missing a meal, um, never missing a workout, and not fucking up your sleep, uh, and, if I can consistently get all those things down and absolutely not fuck up the first two, because sometimes bad nights of sleep happen, um, especially when you're depressed. And that's, you know, it's the best I could do. Um, yeah, I kind of, uh, I kind of fucked up a relationship. Well, I shouldn't say kind of, I did. Um, leading into all this stuff, uh, it's been like seven, yeah, seven months now, um, but, uh, I mean, it was great, it was like my first healthy relationship, and that was, that was amazing, uh, you know, I, like, I, I've never met someone where I could not, if I tried, have a single bad thing to say about them, like, at all, um, and I kind of, uh, you know, I progressively got more stressed out about things. Like, I, I've always had a problem worrying about problems that aren't aren't there yet. So, you know, like, we we were talking about, like, getting a house. Uh, we got a dog together. Um, you know, and of course, like, in my head, like, I'm just stressed out about money and how I'm going to... Um, figure out all that and it's really scary thinking about living paycheck to paycheck even though like I currently am right now um but like that just like built up and I started putting hypotheticals in my head and just like then thinking like um uh, like I remember I cut even on finances for like multiple months straight and I was like, fuck, I'm not netting any money. And I have a full-time job. I'm not like some trainer. Like, I, I will online coach people. But that's very, very minute um, income for me. It's all mostly my full-time job driving trucks. Um, and the, the money's good. Uh, and, you know, I just... I was fucking stressed about that. And I started thinking, like, wow, I'm not excelling at bodybuilding and I'm, I'm 28 now I was 27 at the time and just um having that constant fear like the clock is running up for me and like I need to execute um you know and uh it's kind of packed my shit and left I mean there was conversation um leading into that but uh, I mean just like the the course of events like it was very abrupt 
And I held contact after that in hopes that, uh, you know, because, like, it's, like I 100% fucked that up. And uh, there was never, like, a point in my head, though, where I, I was like, yeah, this is, like, I couldn't imagine my future without this person. Which begs the question of why would you do that? Um, and I didn't... I, w I was impulsive. And it was fucking stupid. Um, so I held out... Uh, you know, I always held out that hope. And uh, communication started dwindling because it was very uh, emotionally draining. And it was stressful on her part to like continue communicating with me. And I kept... Uh, you know, I kept asserting that I wanted, like, this wouldn't be a permanent thing. But you can't do that to people. Um, so, like, that kind of dwindled. And, uh, like, I, I understand. I don't, th I don't think people take space and things get better. So I was really scared of that. But she really needed it. So, I, you know, I did that. Um, and, yeah, I would, I would still, like, send a message every couple of weeks. Uh trying to start up a let's pop the pimple and it's bleeding i'm sorry everyone um start up conversation uh or like have a dialogue of some sort but that was that was uh that was not a good call um and you know i would i would uh when communication like kind of dropped off you know, I would uh, send, like, a message, like, well, would you maybe like to do this or go out to breakfast here? And uh, it, at first it was presented, like, well, we could ask friends. And, you know, no guy wants to hear that. I don't think any person wants to hear that, given their feelings. So I was very dismissive at first. But then uh, I was like, you know, I, uh, this person's, like, the most important part of my life. I can't imagine um, not talking to them. So, like, I, I said, sure, yeah. Um, after a couple times of dismissing it, I was like, yeah, you know, I, that's fine. I would, that's a start. Um, and then they said they didn't think they could. I, I Maybe they didn't think I would take up that suggestion. Or maybe they thought that would be okay. But then, like, once I actually presented an answer... Of that sort, like it, it was too much. They said they don't think they could, and that's never a good sign. Um, so I would uh, just like throw random gestures out. Like, by the way, one eight hundred flowers is fucking expensive. <laughs> but I, you know, I would send flowers just because. Um, I wouldn't try to attach like a meaning to it, like because uh, I don't think you could buy back um, emotions from people. I don't believe in that um so i would do that and you know i actually i wouldn't hear anything back um they they insisted on keeping the place we stayed at after i'd left and i think it was just to have some type of familiarity um which i understand but they like jacked the fucking rent up and um, this per you know, this person made decent money, like, maybe around the same that I did, but that's, like, astronomical. Like, we're talking, like, almost $1,300 $1, just in rent, and then we're including, like, electricity, parking, uh, a pet fee, like, all, all these things. So I, I did, uh, I sent them, um, a decent amount of money in the mail and a letter expressing myself. And I think, uh, I threw something else in there, um... That I thought would be heartfelt. Oh, it was a picture of her and the dog. That's what it was. Um, didn't hear anything back from that. I, I mean, I also included the letter. It's all right if I didn't hear anything back. But uh, you know, I, I never wanted to present anything like it was a grab, to uh, like an attention grab. Um, and I guess I'm making this video right now because uh, it, it was their birthday yesterday. So I, um, you know, I prepared for like a week and a half. Like I really, I really thought out like what would be good gifts and, um, it wasn't anything extravagant. So I got a couple things. Um, 
went to the store, got a card. Um, expensive flower. The, exp the flowers were the most expensive. And uh, got all that, put it in a bag, had a card in there. And I, I dropped it off at their apartment complex. Um, and you know, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't... I didn't want anyone to like steal anything so uh you know i sent over a snapchat and like happy birthday and here's like a picture of, like me i left like the gift uh um inside the front door not outside of it i just had like someone let me in you know um i just like left it in the lobby area uh very disappointed uh you know i, I heard i actually did hear back today <laughs> um it's not promising at all um they want, me, they want me to be happy. They want me to move on. It's, and that's very fucking hard to do. Um, given everything. And it's it, it's funny. Be, it's not funny. It's, it's funny in a sad way that it's like a, my own doing. Um, and that's really hard to it's really hard to live with. It's been hard to breathe, to breathe. A lot of the time... Um, I didn't realize that, you know, I'm just getting all this, uh, bodybuilding career started and I don't know if I'm going to be any good. I, I hope I am. I'm doing my damnest to be, but I, I never f factored in that, uh, accomplishments that I want to achieve, um, don't mean much at all to me if I don't have the right person to share them with and uh, it really you know you never know the last time you're gonna see someone until it happens and then all you have to do is look back at that moment um, and, and I, I've had my fair share of, uh, serious relationships and heartbreaks, and, uh, this one really sticks out, and it's, uh, really tough to accept all that, so I, uh, I told myself for, I told myself for, uh, months, that I needed to go like find a therapist. I went briefly before and it helped. Um, it did, I, I had a very bad run of things uh, a couple of years ago and it helped. I stopped because my works insurance actually didn't cover it. Um, and I got, I had a fight a foot up $1,700 bill. Um, even though they recommended the place and told me to go there. And then denied my dispute. Uh, and I told I told myself for months, and I would give myself excuses to put it off, um, because the scary part about therapy, at least for me, is I know I kn know things have to get harder before they get better. I got this bad tendency where I just I wait until things feel like they. Like, I can't bear them getting any harder before like no options left. Um, so that's going to have to be the move. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is a weird video. Um, it's a lot of anxiety. Uh, it's terrible. Like, I feel like I'm not going to be able to sit still for a really long time. Um, you know, these things like like devastating uh, something devastating like this which uh you know i, I kind of got the inkling that it would build up to this but actually hearing it um you know solidifies everything and uh just like blares in my head every waking moment uh and i still i still get done what i need to get done i try to be as mentally present as i can at least for my training portion of the day uh but it's fucking hard um especially the environment of which i work 
just like in a truck by myself all day. So it's just me and my thoughts. Um, and it's nice when things are going good. I like alone time, but <sighs> fuck. You know, I, I don't really have a support system in place. And I always feel like I'm bothering other people because, you know, everyone knows that guy where it's like they're always uh, complaining about like a relationship problem. So I would always avoid that altogether. Because like it just seems like it's the same old shit. When I feel like to whoever's listening, it's like the same old shit and they can't like really invest themselves into uh, being there for someone over something like that. At least that's my understanding and it's probably not a good one. But it's hard really fucking hard and uh one of my I'm like like I'm uh, like 21 weeks and five days out from a show I'm gonna do and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough I wish, you know, I wish there were, like, better words to, you ever, you ever feel like you, you ever feel like no matter what you say, you can't articulate your feelings, um, to, like, express and animate how you feel, that's, that's how it feels constantly if I try to sum it up, um, it's, like, really damning how I feel. And yeah, I got a whole life ahead of me, but fuck. Like, uh, I pictured myself marrying this person. Um, to the point where, like, I never factored in a future without them in it. And now, I have to. And I don't have answers. I honestly don't know what to do. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of tears that get had about this. I'm, uh, I'm honestly shocked that I'm making it through this video without just, like, fucking sobbing, to be honest. I think it's probably good I recorded this after squats, because it kind of, like, mentally drained that out of me. But, um, I think mental health is a big, important part of all of this. And, uh, I hope, I hope mine improves. I, I gotta try and be optimistic about what I can, even though that's hard. Um, and you know, if uh, my platform ever goes somewhere, people are probably gonna look back at this and laugh or make fun of me. Um, but it's, I mean, this is, these are things I feel very deeply. Um... You know, I had a really good thing, and I fucking blew it. Blew it out of hypotheticals that, uh... Made me get scared and... Cut and run. And now I have to make a plan... Now I have to make plans for... What I'm gonna do with my life. And that's really hard when you factored all those plans with someone in it. So, uh, I'm gonna have better, I'll have better, better days and more things to say and hopefully prep goes well, but, uh, yeah, I cannot express enough having a good support system and seeking help when you know you need it and trying to do what you can every day even if you don't want to just get the things done that you need to there's really hard days but I know there will be good ones too uh, I just know those aren't coming for quite a while and I hope everyone isn't afraid to reach out to others and do what they need to do to be the best version of themselves even if it's really hard 
because life life gets really hard a lot of the time and all we have is the hope that it will be a lot better one day there's a lot to look forward to and uh All I can do, and I hope every, everyone else out there, they could just keep their heads up, and even if they don't want to, and push for better days. <laughs> Sorry, this video is long, is long, and uh, it's probably not something I'm gonna do often, but uh, I don't really have an outlet, so I'm just throwing this out there. Um, don't take things for granted there's a if I could go back there's a lot of simple things I would have done differently to not be in this position right now but it's it's uh, something of my own doing and I have to dig myself out I hope everyone uh, has a great day out there, and work towards your goals, even if sometimes you don't want to. <laughs> Bye.